so here's my what this is a Roma I think and I forget what this is I did have tags at some point I don't know if I still got them no I'm not seeing them but my plants are loaded unfortunately I did not trellis them or anything and so they're they're flopping all over the place but look at these I got some whoppers in there um, like I said I don't remember what varieties these are supposed to be hmm. anywho I was gonna pull out that squash plant and I didn't get around to it and guess what happened I got squash down there. I'm gonna look up now, after I get done with this video, I'm gonna look up when I'm supposed to harvest those and then I'll take them into work and give them to folks. Or maybe, um, you know, if you're going to Judy's, maybe she would want them. Homegrown. <laughs> and then, um, Oh, we have to do the obligatory look at my Rebecca's Black Eyed Susan's commonly known. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, and I mounted my camera for the birds. I had Tim put this up for me today. And I can get my whole view right here. I can see all my little bird things here, my bird bath, and oh, I got some new stuff. So my land my lawn guy gave me another suet holder. This guy here, it didn't have a hanger, so I just made one from wire. And then my mom is in town. Here she is over there. Hi, mom. And she bought me this super suet holder. Well, it's not for me, it's for the birds. Well, it is for me too, because I enjoy watching them. And then she also got me this beautiful hummingbird feeder. Isn't that pretty? And I decided to move um, the squirrels' peanuts over here. We'll see if we can keep them off of the birds' um, feeders over there. So that's pretty snazzy. And I just harvested some peppers today and a few tomatoes. And Tim's gonna put, I got another bed, just like these ones. Tim's gonna put that together for me today and put it out right here. And then um, in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna get a shipment from Akron's Finest and top off those two beds and fill this one. I think I'm gonna get, I think it, I wanna say it's called a cubic foot of soil. So that's 36 bucks. I think I'm gonna get three cubic feet of soil. And I think that'll be enough to take care of all three of those beds top off the two and totally fill the other one. We'll see. But I figure spending $100 on that rather than getting bag soil is my best bet. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Let's see, my roses are coming in nice. I think they still gonna need a couple more years before they get, you know, to their full glory. But they were, uh, they were hurting last year. They did not like the move. And then here, look at my black creme. This is a honker, man. I can't wait to weigh this one. But it's it's cracking, just like everything else, because of the rain, rain, rain. And then I put this out the other day. I started this in the house, it's a black cherry. We'll see if it has time to do anything. I think I only got like two and a half months left, left in my season, but since that's a cherry tomato, it might actually be able to put off some fruit in time. And remember I had um, blossom and rot on this plant. Took care of that, that's all gone. So I got a whole bunch of fruit on there now. Super excited, I'm gonna keep a better eye on it. Um, I'm not counting on my um, my watering system, it's, it's broken. And that's how that ended up happening. Oh, I found this other volunteer tomato plant. Look down here with all those little baby fruits on it. So that's cool. Um, my guess is that those are uh, Barry's Crazy Cherry, because I think that's what I was growing down there last year, and it was next to that pot, so that might be what that was. Oh, what else is going on? 
herbs galore these mushroom peppers are looking awesome these are the mushroom bread these are super hot they're not for me they're for my friend Wooly and here's another one of those plants loaded here's my last watermelon that hasn't split fingers crossed guys I started with like eight I'm down to one we just found another one today my herb tower over here is doing really good parsley came back from that big harvest I did and I can't turn this with one hand but my chives came back no problem as well and my zinnias they're spent but they still look fantastic don't they Oh, we got the um, umbrella bolted to the ground or to the deck. Uh, it hadn't been before and the whole thing used to be spinning around, but now it's just the umbrella with the wind. <laughs> and All right, friends, we're gonna go out here. Nature put some some kind of squash seeds in my bed. And I think maybe some, some of them are ready to be harvested. So those of you ignorant about squash, like I am, I just read that um, to know if they're ready to harvest, you're supposed to push it with your thumbnail. And if it goes through the rind, then it's not ripe. But if it only leaves a dent, then it's good to go. Here's the plant before I um, do a harvest. And some of what I saw said that you need to wait 55 to 60 days after the fruit set. I didn't plant it, so I don't know what the days were like. Um, but the fruit's awful cute. Here's a little baby one here. They look like little white pumpkins. And there's a bunch over there, see? And there's some down here. But I think these two might be ripe, so I'm gonna go ahead and poke this with my thumbnail and see if we go through or not. Yep, it went through. Okay, they're not ripe yet. Alrighty. Well, there goes that. <laughs> All right, I put some perennials out today. I had a few and I still got a few more. I think I know where I'm gonna put them. I've got these two um, Shasta daisies started from seed. And I think I'm gonna put them in between the roses there. Oh wait, nope, I got three Shasta daisies left and Oh, I got some coleus here. I can go put out somewhere. Hmm. Anywho, let me show y'all what I did. So I put a Shasta here. And I put another one there. I also put, oh, I found this. This is my sugar tip hibiscus. I broke it, but hopefully it comes back. It's a variegated variety. And I put I put these sticks out so that my lawn guy knows that what's right there should stay. So he doesn't run it over or cut it down or whatever. Um, that's my sugar or peaches and cream uh, honeysuckle. And then I put out my grapes. Oh God, I should have been put these out, but there's Concord seedless grapes. And I got from Stark Brothers. So both of those went out today. And Tim took care of the siding for me today. There were a couple places whenever I moved here that had holes in them. And um, I had extra pieces. There's an extra box, box of pieces in the garage. So he went ahead and took care of those today. So that's one of them, you can tell. And then there was one up here on top of the On top of the house there. You can't really tell because he used a uh, used piece on that one, but he fixed that. And then there was another 
hole in the siding on the side of the house. We just put that in because whenever we got the fridge for in the garage, the fridge fell off the track and fell into the house and busted a hole in the in the siding. But so we got the fridge back there. Um, let me show you. I'm using that for my overflow. So here's my collards that I've been freezing. There's peppers up there. Um, that's my veggie stock tray or veggie stock level rather. And then down here, that's my extra kielbasa. Down there is my extra bacons. And down there is tomatoes as I get them. I freeze them in there. I have another bag to add. And then here's all my peppers whenever I get those and I freeze them up. So it's coming in handy. Um, yeah, the owners left a whole box of siding, so that's good. So should anything else happen, and also he taught me how to do it. So should anything else happen to the siding, I do know how to do it now. And I have the tools for it. We went and pick up the snips today so you can cut them to size. And then we already had the hook em tool that goes to it. Uh, anyway, so uh, tomorrow we're doing porch rocker, but um, there, my bed over there, he's gonna get that put together for me and put it right here. So I'm excited for that. And um, my bird feeders are looking good. I just, everything is looking awesome. I'm so excited right now. Man, we really did it. We really did it today. We were, and my mom was in town, took her to lunch and we did a little shopping. Cause you know, well, I don't know about other moms and daughters but that's something me and my mom do. We like to go to movies and shop and just spend time. Mm. So we had a lovely day and then we came back to the house and then um, she sat on the porch and watched us <laughs> do homeowner stuff. <laughs> but she enjoyed it. We talked the whole time. Oh, and so I'm cleaning out this planter. I'm going to move my sedum um, because I want to put... In my last video, somebody told me that I can move my elephant ear now if I wanted to and it wouldn't harm the plant. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna move my elephant ear into this one and then I'll have two big, wonderful tropical uh, containers of elephant ears for out here on the deck. That's quite exciting. Um, I'm quite pleased with the way my fig is looking. Uh, this is the fig nominal. I forget where I bought it from, but that's what that is. And then I did a harvest today. I sent some of it home with my mom. She was she's staying with a friend. And so I sent some of it there. And then I have that left over. And all day today, I've been watching bees on my zinnias. They've been absolutely, oh, there's one now. Speak of the devil. So all in all, it's been a wonderful day. We got so much done. We got to visit with mom. Uh, we got the birds all set up for their buffet, basically. And um, I got my camera set up. I think though, I wanna get a couple more of the blink cameras. Um, Cause I think I wanna put some more out to catch different uh, parts of the garden. And um, because I like watching the birds and the squirrels and all that stuff. I've been really enjoying that and I think I could use some more cameras out here. So I'm probably gonna pick up some more of those maybe on my next paycheck. I'm thinking two more. Hmm? I don't know. Because I'm totally crazy and I'm stalking them. Oh, we also got the umbrella drilled into the deck. It, it was flying around like crazy. The last one I had um, ended up in my neighbor's yard and broke some stuff. <laughs> so I got one this time that um, can be drilled into the deck. And so we got that done today and I'm just feeling awesome. 
Um, Tim and I are gonna go reward ourselves with some pizza and cold beers. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a fantastic, productive day and I'll be back at another time. Take care guys and happy growing. Bye.